everyone, Larry Snow here, and in this video, we're gonna be doing something a little different, a little moving away from MailChimp in this video anyway. We're gonna be taking a look at MailerLite. Specifically, we're gonna be setting up a pop-up on our WordPress website. In that pop-up, it will be a 10% code offer off, off of our store, and when a person fills that out, they're going to get an automated email with the discount code. Sounds like fun? Stay tuned, it's coming up next. So to get started with MailerLite and WordPress, you should install the WordPress plugin for MailerLite. I've already installed it, but I will show you the steps on how to do it. So we're looking at my dashboard on MailerLite. So we're gonna to go to integrations and we're gonna go scroll down here and it's gonna say WordPress and we're gonna click on use. And in the use, it'll tell you the steps on what you need to do. What you're going to have to do is download the MailerLite plugin, the official one. And to do that, we go over to our dashboard in our WordPress website. We go down to plugins, click on add new, and then we're going to search for MailerLite. Okay, there's an update for it, so I can show you that. But this is the one that you want, it's from MailerLite. You'll see a button that says install now, click on that and then click on activate. For me, I'm gonna be clicking on update now. So once it's installed, you'll see that down here in your admin sidebar, you'll have something called sign up forms, settings and status. The first thing you wanna do is go to settings. So under plugin settings for MailerLite, you're going to need an API key. To get API key, go back to our integrations here and we click on API, we click on use. If you've never created an API key, it's very easy. You click on generate new token. You'll give it a name. I'm gonna call it LarrySnow.me. Click on the I have read and understood the API token requirements and click on create token. It's gonna to generate some string of numbers and letters. Once you click X out of here, you will no longer have access to that number. So for security reasons, they cannot show it to you again. So make sure that you store it somewhere safe. I'm gonna click on copy, and then I'm gonna click on download. So now that I have it copied, I'm gonna go back to my settings in my MailerLite plugin and paste in the API key. And then click on update this key. With the API connected, we can go back over to MailerLite and set up the second step in this process, the pop-up form. So back on the MailerLite dashboard, we wanna to go to create a form. What we wanna do is we're gonna have a pop-up form and our name will be LS pop-up and we'll just do the number two here since I already got one started, but I wanna show you what I've done so far. Click on save and continue. Then you wanna select a subscriber group. Now groups are similar to tags in MailChimp. I've created a pop-up opt-ins for my group, and that's the one that I wanna use that will be connected to this form. Make sense? Click on continue. Now they're gonna give you a bunch of templates that you can use. I picked the simple sign up, so I'm gonna click on choose this one, and it will load. And this is how it's gonna look like on your website. Now let's go over some of the settings that we have here. So the form type is what we see here, it's the default, it's what a pop-up modal is. And then you also have other options here. You can do just so it sits on the bottom of your web page, or it can sit to the right, or take up a larger portion of your screen, or sit over on the right hand side of the screen. So I'm gonna keep it as the pop up modal because I like that the best. The other thing we have is blocks. So if we go over to the block section, we can add text. If we wanted to add in more information here, we have an image, so we could add further images here. Uh, we could do an image and content. We could do a countdown box, block, which is nice. We could add in social links and a divider. So let's click inside the form itself and click the little pencil icon to see the form. So under the button action, we have a success message or a redirect to. I'm going to have it default at the success message. The success message that you have is over on this side, and we're just going to keep that the same. So you could go in here and edit it. You could add in text, bold, you can add in links, whatever you'd like. But that's how you see it here. That's the pop-up success message. Okay, makes sense? The button text is get my discount. We could change that here. And then we could add additional fields if we wanted to. We could add in last name or whatever the fields you have in your audience. 
Under Sign Up Forms Settings, we have a privacy policy, which is nice. So if you wanted to add a privacy policy, you could click that button. It opts in here. And then if you click the little pencil icon here, you can then edit it. And then uh, under Privacy Policy, you would add in a link to it so people can view it before they subscribe. The other option that I like, if we go back there, sign up form settings, is the reCAPTCHA, which is nice. And we also could do a hidden segmentation field, which is really cool. So let's say we have an additional audience field in our audience list that's zip. So we could do that as a custom field and it could be hidden. We also have a marketing permissions for GDPR. And we also have a confirmation box that says to opt in to receive new and updates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off CAPTCHA, I'm gonna take off the privacy policy, but I'm gonna keep the confirmation checkbox. The other option you have is how you want the form aligned. So you could do vertical or horizontal. Vertical definitely for that. And then we click save. And then we click on done editing or you can preview it. So let's click on done editing. So then we have behavior. How is this gonna form going to behave? So we can wait five seconds. We can show when the user scrolls 50% of the way down or we could do a closing page, but that doesn't work on mobile. Frequency, how long do you want this pop-up to show? I'm just gonna do it in one week. And then we have a schedule. Do you wanna pop up activate immediately or do you wanna have a specific start time? We'll do immediately. And then we have a visibility option. So we could have always show, we could hide on specific pages. So they need the uh, exact URL of what pages you want to hide your pop-up form on. And then you also have the ability to show on specific pages. And so that's not an either or, <laughs> it's a one of the three, okay? The other options we have here, which is a checkbox, is just to hide on all desktop devices, hide on mobile devices, and hide on tablet devices. But we'll just keep all three unchecked and click on always show for the visibility. Let's click on save changes. Okay. Now it's saying, hey, if you are not using WordPress, because down here it says if you're using WordPress, use the sign up form plugin. But if you're not using WordPress or uh, any other way to connect WordPress or Shopify is the two options that they have anyway, you can use this JavaScript that you'd have to put on every page of your website. Now you could do this instead of using the WordPress plugin, but the WordPress plugin makes it so much easier. Another option, which is kind of neat, is that they have an on-click show pop-up form. So if you wanted to, you could use this as well. So for now, we're just gonna click on continue. Again, we have the preview. We can create a split test. We can edit the design. We can have double opt-in on, or we could turn it off. I'm going to turn that off. I'm gonna change the status to green. Make sure that the status means, the green means that it's on and it's running. Then uh, other options that we have here that we can track how well we're doing is analytics. And then we have the automation part. So this is what we wanna do. We wanna create an automation for your subscribe form. So let's do that now. Click on create an automation for your subscribe form. So the trigger is when anyone subscribes to this form, then we're gonna click on plus email. So we're gonna send an email when and whenever someone subscribes to this form. So click on email. The name of the email is something that you call it internally. So we're gonna call this the 10% discount code like that. Your subject line will be here is your coupon happy shopping like that. So you get marketing solutions, that's who it's from and my sender email. And we're gonna do track opens with an invisible beacon, but you could also use UTM tags. We're gonna keep everything as it is right now. Let's click on that design email. I'm not gonna do start, start from scratch. I'm gonna go into the template gallery and I'm gonna be doing deals and offers. And we'll just select this one right here, holiday sale. And we'll say 10% off. There we go. Enjoy your favorite coffee beans with discount code so here we edit, discount code beans10, okay? And then the shop coffee button, we can send that over to a fictitious website. <laughs> I don't know where we gotta send it. I don't even know if this is a website, beans.com. How about that? And click on save. Obviously you'd edit the way you'd want it, the way you want it to look, all that good stuff. I'm just going with what we have. And by default, 
And here are the different block types that you have. You have a list block type, card block type. So it kind of chops it up like that. And then full width, which is really nice. We're gonna use the list because we're gonna be doing it that way. Uh, content settings, all that's gonna be default. Button settings, you can edit to your heart's desire, but we're just gonna be testing out our automation here. So let's click on done editing, okay? And then from here, for your automation pieces, you wanna be doing that nurturing, that lead nurturing, maybe you're offering a different coupon code a couple weeks from now, offer what's new in the product list, all that good stuff. Our last step here is to turn this on and then click save and then save and close. Okay, so let's test it all out. Now, let's go back to our settings here on our MailerLite plugin, because one of the things that we have to do to make this work is we have to enable MailerLite pop-ups on our website. So to do that, you click the little blue button here, click on enable, the disabled will now be enabled and we'll be good to go. Let me just refresh the page here and see if we get a pop-up. So here's our form. We're gonna fill it out real quick here. Gmail trick here and our name. We're gonna opt in to receive news and updates and click on get my discount code. Here's our success message. We can go into our dashboard and we can refresh to see if we got another subscriber. We did right here, it's February. And if we go to our forms, go to our pop-up forms, we have one subscriber here, one pop-up and a conversion. So that's all working. Let's go check to see if we got the email. Here's our email. Here's, here's your coupon, happy shopping. Enjoy your favorite coffee, beans with discount code beans10. And then we can click on beans.com and see where it takes us. Oh yeah, not something we wanna to go to. Anyway, hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, if it's given you some value, make sure you click that like and also that subscribe button to let me know that you're interested in this type of content. Thanks as always, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.